1994, I believe it was. I had enough money to buy a suit that would have looked attractive. I wanted to present myself in court. The store, London Dock, rather than trying to sell it to me, strongly discouraged me from buying the suit. And so I didn't. And I became aware of the neuroplasm sometime after that. Around that time. A little after that, I think. And I tried to get help to make a movie of it. And no one would allow me to make a movie of it. This is very interesting because there's some things that have never been reported in some of the letters of Gail Burson, of which I have some copies, but not of all of them. For example, she mentions Leslie, who looks like a mouse. Leslie did have that feature. And um, she talks about 74 being the best number. That was the bus stop where Leslie Katz wait for buses. Um, outside Mr. Rogers Church was the 74A bus stop. And they called it the crossroads in the letters. It was where I saw one of the men who had tortured me as a child. It was beating me in the head when a couple of um, black kids subverted the dominant paradigm of shifting. He had lit a mailbox on fire once. I mean, he was not a particularly savory character. And he was a full-grown adult beating a child. Nobody cares. And uh, he was doing gardening for Mr. Rogers' church. Just like Matt Marcus burned a girl's arm gangrene while building sets for Mr. Rogers. He said to bring back to reality when I cursed him for it. What the hell do you think you're doing? You know, I was a furious passenger in the van that raced around the school bus at Kelly School. Did anybody care? No, they named me. Sound Mental Health never bothered me. They didn't apologize to me even after Shulman was arrested. It was his gang. They used to say, oh, we work for every penny we have. Ha. Huh. They made millions of dollars ripping off the museum. Well, Fripp and Patricia Fripp, his sister, had a, a party mongering lots about their prey. Well, one of the things that was in these letters was that Gail Burson used to taunt me, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're out to get you. It was in the letters. You know, and this is the game that Rachel McCloskey has going with Jay Inslee over there at Sound Mental Health towards me. You know, the, the programmatic paranoidization. I mean, it's a little local hybrid war scene. They make clear that they, they inject you over a penny and then slash a murder a girl named Shannon Harps. And they have lookalikes on the staff of the man who already in place when he ripper murders Shannon Harps. And I, I didn't get hyper, but Here's something you should know, though, if you're after the truth. Shortly before I, you know, flipped Owen the note that was sort of bothering me because it showed the moment when I would be very harboring of a desire to strike back in self-defense. The dude had nearly broken my glasses. You know, maybe in Pittsburgh you're allowed to say, stupid things. I mean, in, in Seattle, if you say something stupid, you're automatically called evil and, you know, all this. And that was what Gail Burson was driving out about the neuroplasm, by the way. She said he called me a goddamn mother and I told him he was triply evil. Ha, 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 ha. You know, so the, the programmatic paranoidization theory was something that I knew from the neuroplasm. I have to watch what it's doing to me psychologically, because even though I'm nonviolent, Shifty thinks it's a game to torture somebody with a neuroplasm, to get see them get snapped, to get hyper. What's going to get your goat is what Thaws Gordon used to say. So even though there are, you know, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not out to get you. It's a very interesting thing for a woman who's naming like the psychiatrist of Attica State Prison. That's the source of a neuroplasm. 
And instead of protecting me as a student, as a potential teacher, and my father was a, a, a career educator who was considered a distinguished professor. My sister is the most popular professor in the school this year. She gave the commencement address. I had potential for to be a career man. Potentially stabilized my life so that it wasn't horrible. But instead of doing that, they bash me in the face and they play the shift he knows how to get his goat game. And they're all in on it. All of them were. Not one single one of these people weren't. There was a hybrid war that was committed locally in the Seattle Swami Noster sect of Capitol Hill. You know, and all I did was say, I'm trying to protect you. I'm trying to safe walk you through a bunch of stupidity that's being dumped on you by people who are lying about me. And, not, and they were like changing what I said. Oh, that means he's targeting David Stone. What? Do you think I want his job? I don't want his job. I don't want anything to do with him. I wanted to go to school and they said no. So I, I, you know, I think it's fair for me to recite some of the facts about what was in these letters and what it indicates about the collusion of sound mental health with Watt Maker and the Fern Hollow Bridge Gang and the so-called nature of reality. People should be aware of this because the hybrid war stuff came with John Stockwell of the CIA. The hybrid war stuff comes with like UW dialectical. This is Trumpy two Pewdenese. These gangs are working together. And if they have somebody in a matrix where they, you know, use wire club, for example, it's like a launch pad for massacres in Las Vegas. The police should note how this person is being used who is trying to stop them and reason with the public about what is going on and take note and try to investigate and stop. And if it's necessary to advise me to be careful because so-and-so is at risk. I mean, we know that a number of people are at risk logically by the way they have proceeded. And what I'm trying to do is make clear to people that I am not doing this. I'm being used as a weapon by Trumpy Toon, Putin, Peter Gabriel, Robert Fripp. They're using me for lots. That's what they're doing. They're playing off of my home computer as like a dysfunctional liberal. You know, he, the more he tries to protect people, the more we'll use him to hurt people. Hey, 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 hey. It's like a David Hawkes stutter routine. Every problem you try to solve, you will create 1.2 problems, is what he told me. And this, this, is, this is assassination from within the structure of United States um, form of entertainment, which we call news. These people are making news so that they can send out bulletins. And it's a relay station. That's what this hybrid war stuff is. And Seattle, instead of trying to get on top of it and put a stop to it, were perpetrators of it. It's sad. It's it makes me indignant because I believe Taylor Branch's injunction that peaceable communities begin with obeying the law. I don't own any weapons. Where did these crazy people come up with the idea that when I get frightened and indignant because a girl is slashed or murdered outside the clubhouse and some guy comes up in the federal building and bashes me in the face with a basketball, which is the reality of what happened there, that I am somehow targeting them. It's the bizarrest thing I've ever even heard. So, so do me one big favor, Her Harold. Keep it to yourself or else come clean. Don't do any more of this wheelie-dealy stuff by poisoning me in the mouth if you had anything to do with it. Put a stop to yourself. People like Harold Manchin, Joe Manchin, there's something they don't comprehend. They think that the inability to govern themselves is the essence of self-government. It's not true. The ability to have self-government begins with maturity, 